What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide. And what I'm going to do in this video is talk about five incoming players who I think, you know, will have a massive impact on the 2023 season. Okay? I can't say they're incoming players because they already there. So I'll just say first-year players for my Alabama Crimson Tide. And uh, uh, I'm going to name these guys and, you know, talk about them a little bit. And y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section if these guys will, you know, make a difference for my Alabama Crimson Tide in 2023. And the first one I'm talking about is on the defensive side of the ball, is Caleb Downs. Caleb Downs, number one safety in the 2023 recruiting class out of the state of Georgia, uh, five-star when this guy was getting recruited, he had a player rating of uh, 99. And from everything that's coming out of spring practice, he deserved every bit of it. This guy had uh, uh, 34 offers from big-time schools, I'm, I'm telling you, other than Alabama. He had offer, offers from Georgia, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Clemson, Florida, Florida State, LSU, Miami, Michigan, Michigan State. You know, Mississippi State, Oklahoma, Ole Miss, Oregon, Tennessee, South Carolina, Texas A&M, USC. I mean, it, and, and it's a lot more. But like I say, he had 34 offers. And uh, this guy, he got a he got a scouting report that's off the chain. And remember, these scouting report was uh, written when they was in between their junior and senior year of high school, not yet played their senior year. And uh, it's translating into spring spring uh camp all right and i'm gonna just read a little bit off off of the uh off the scouting report i ain't gonna go through the whole thing but it says uh one of the best uh safeties in the 2023 class after producing uh for four straight years on both sides of the ball against top flight peach state competition smooth instinctive competitive capped off a decorated prep career by leading his school to his first ever state title on the six foot, but plays like he's a giant as he embraces contact and isn't afraid to come up and put a lick on someone in the gap. All right. Also says, uh, has experience working both in the box and over the top ability uh, to man up and run with tight ends and most slot receivers suggest that his future is closer toward the line of scrimmage, but uh, has the versatility to play a center field role if needed. He picked off 19 passes and had 43 pass breakups out of 51 games. So, so that's excellent, man. That is excellent. And all of these is at the varsity level. So the guy has a has a has a lot of talent, man. He said most of the uh his uh takeaways and pass breakups were byproducts of how he can quickly read diagnose and get to the catch point. So that's a great scouting report. It says more. I ain't going to go through the whole thing, man. But Caleb Downs is one of the guys that I think would have a very big impact on the on, in the defensive, defensive secondary for my Alabama Crimson Tide. So uh, Caleb Downs is the first one. And uh, just like you or just like me, I'm sure you're hearing the same thing or reading the same thing about what Caleb Downs is doing in, in spring practice. I don't, we all, all of us Alabama fans expecting him to be a day one starter. And you know, there's not too many times that a freshman can come in and be a day one starter under Nick Saban. So what does that tell us? The guy is going to be great. Like I continue to say, everybody is comparing this guy to Mika Fitzpatrick. And we know what Mika Fitzpatrick did for our Alabama Crimson Tide. But anyway, he's the first one I think going to have a, a, a big impact for our Alabama, for Alabama uh, on the defensive side of the ball. The rest of them is on the offensive side of the ball. And the next one is uh, Justice Haynes. Justice Haynes, another guy out of the state of Georgia. The number two running back out of the state of Georgia and the number two running back in the uh in the um 2023 recruiting class. Another five star. And uh this guy in high school, his stats is off the chain. And he's impressing in spring practice also. All right. Uh this guy, he was a he he was a played on varsity 
his whole high school career, all right? His freshman season, he ran for over 1,750 yards with 18 touchdowns. His freshman year, he averaged 117 yards a game. Tell me that ain't good. Sophomore year, he averaged 1,750 yards on the season with 25 touchdowns and averaged 194 yards a game. Sophomore year, he ran for 2,375 yards, 29 touchdowns, and averaged 198 yards a game. That is crazy, man. And then to cap it off, his senior season, he ran for 1,528 yards, 19 touchdowns, and averaged 127 yards a game. And remind you, his sophomore year, he only played in nine games and still got uh, 1,750 yards and scored 25 touchdowns. That is crazy, man. That is crazy. And hopefully, hopefully that will trans, tr transition uh, to the college level, okay? But like I said, we're hearing great things about this guy coming out of uh, uh, coming out of fall, I mean, uh, uh, spring uh, practice. Again, when he was playing or uh, being recruited, he had a player rating of 97, all right? And um, anyway, he uh he had a lot of um he matter of fact he had 36 offers from some of the same schools besides Alabama, the some well some of the same schools as Caleb Downs besides Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Ohio State, Arkansas, Auburn, Clemson, Colorado, Florida State. I mean the list goes on and on. Miami, Michigan, Missouri, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Oregon, Penn State, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, Texas A and M. USC, Wisconsin. I mean, he had a lot of them too. So these are two great guys. Well, two uh, talented guys who I think can help can help Alabama in 2023. Mind you, you know I don't think that uh, that uh, Justice Haynes will be a starter, which I know he won't. But I think he can help us in the, in his running game, and I hope to see him on the field. All right, because you know we got Jamarian Millen, Rodell Williams, and uh, 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 Jason McClellan. So and then we got this guy, Justice Haynes, and uh, 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 I forgot the other one name that came in with. With matter of fact, the other one he recruited Justice Haynes, but when he when he committed to us. But anyway, uh, it's a lot. We got a lot of running backs, but I think Justice Haynes can help us in uh, 2023. All right, next guy, next guy. Is my wide receiver Malik Malik Benson? He's a, he's a transfer from Hutchinson, Hutchinson Community College, the number one wide receiver coming out of Hutchinson Community College. I mean, uh, this guy was running routes for Bryce Young on his uh, on his, on his, on his pro day. I mean, the film the film speak for itself. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I know one thing that uh, came out of of uh. Pro Day, what they said about Malink Benson is that he round off his routes, but they say they can fix that real quick with no problem. The dudes, but dude got great hands, great speed. I mean, he, he can cut on a dime. I mean, the guy is is awesome and from what I seen on, on that film. But anyway, uh, called him, uh, watched some of his films from Hudson Community College. The dude, the dude is great, man. The dude is a great wide receiver. Um, last year he caught uh, 977 yards, 10 touchdowns. Well, matter of fact, yeah, 10 touchdowns. So hey, uh, the guy's great. Matter of fact, uh, 21, 22 season he caught uh, 1,229 yards. I said 977, 1,229 yards with 10 touchdowns. Okay, so he had 43 receptions that year. But in uh, uh, so the guy, the guys uh. I got it backwards. Yeah, 20, 2001, 22 season, he got he went for over 1,200 yards. Uh, 22, 23 season, uh, 9, 977 yards. So that's right. So out of two seasons, uh, he didn't caught uh, 2,206 receiving yards. He had 2,206 2, receiving yards and 21 touchdowns over two seasons at Hutchinson Community College. But he's 6'1", 189 pounds. Uh, 
he probably have to he'll probably put it on a little bit more weight if he haven't already have uh since he got to Alabama. But once again, this guy will be a day one starter at Alabama at the wide receiver position. And I feel like him, Jacora Brooks, Jermaine Burton will be our three starting receivers. So that's that's what I think. But then you gotta remember, we got Isaiah Bond, Shaz Preston. Uh, uh, Kobe Prentice, Kendrick Law. We got a hell of a wide receiving core. But this guy, I feel, will be the number one receiver. With everything that's being said about him in spring spring practice. Remember, uh, these guys, they got to get out the spring and the fall healthy to, you know, have the impact that I think they can have. All right? But Malik Benson, he's another one that, uh, that are going to, you know, lift us up and give us what we need in the uh in the wide receiver core. Cause remember, we last season, basically last two seasons, we haven't had well not the last two, but last year we haven't had a number one wide receiver. So I think this guy is gonna be that for us. But anyway, let's do, keep it moving. Next, we got CJ Dupree, transfer tight end from Maryland. Last year, he had 30 receptions, 314 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, he averaged 10 and a half yards a catch from when he was at uh, Maryland. All right. Uh, CJ, he going to give us what we need at the tight end position, being that we lost Cameron Latou. I know we got Robert, Robert Oots uh, and about four more wide receivers. But this guy will come in probably make an immediate impact because he got more experience than our other tight ends. But uh, I think sometimes uh, uh, Tommy Reese, he will run a two tight end set, okay? So, and Tommy Reese, he liked to use his tight ends. So, uh, I think this year on the Tommy Reese, we will be using our tight ends more. Not as much as some people, I don't think, but I think we'll use them more, all right? And CJ, CJ Dupree, is a big target, 6'5", 260, all right? So uh, hopefully, hopefully he, he will come in, do his thing. I, I think he's got a little uh, injury right now, but still uh, he'll be ready for the fall, and I think this guy will have a big impact in the pass and the blocking game for our Alabama offense. So C.J. Dupree, looking forward to seeing him on the field. And and seeing what he can do, but remember, like I said, we got a uh, we got a uh, a game of dag on uh, uh, tight ends. So hey, I'm hoping to see two on the field at one time. Okay, so run some two tight end sets. But anyway, he's the fourth uh, newcomer to our Alabama Crimson Tide who think who I think can have a big impact. The next one and last is a, a offensive lineman, offensive tackle, Caden Proctor. Now this guy is is he's getting he's getting rave reviews coming out of Dag on uh spring practice too. All right. Uh Caden Proctor coming out of Iowa, you know he was committed to Iowa, then he flipped uh uh and 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 committed to Alabama and then wavered from Alabama. And uh those guys who had committed to Alabama they was recruiting him after he he chose to go to Iowa or after he committed to Iowa. And they got the job done alone with uh with, with the recruiters. Um but anyway, uh he was recruited by Freddie Roach and Eric Wolford. Uh, you know, Eric Wolford, the offensive lineman, but in uh, uh offensive line coach. But anyway, this guy had a player rating of 99 coming out of out of uh out of high school. And uh this guy, Caden Proctor. Had 47 offers, all right, besides Alabama, besides Iowa, uh, Arizona, Arizona State, Arkansas, Auburn, uh, Colorado, Colorado, Florida, Florida State, Georgia. I mean, Jesus, LSU, Miami, Michigan, Michigan State, Minnesota, Mississippi State, Missouri. I mean, a gang of Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oklahoma State, Ole Miss, Penn State, Tennessee, South Carolina, Texas A&M, USC, West Virginia, I mean, every damn body wanted this damn guy. But guess what? We got him. We got him. I know when he 
committed to Iowa, our Alabama Crimson Tide recruiters and players didn't give up on getting this guy. This guy is 6'7", 330 pounds. And we got two openings on the uh, on the offensive line. So I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this guy is going to make a difference on the offensive line. All right? He may not start, but I think he will get several, well, a lot of playing time. And just a little bit about his scouting report. Has prototypical size and has short area burst, burst and twitch at that size. Can run when asked uh, to pull and make blocks in space. Has good strength and looks to finish blocks and plays with good general tenacity. Was not often challenged at the high school level, uh, through, uh, though often overwhelmed by opponents with pure size and strength. Uh, yeah. Still does not have any obvious big weak points with continued technical development and then adjusting to the college level competition will help ensure he reaches his upsides. Has the physical ability to play very early and can be an All-American and early draft choice. That's what I'm talking about, man. Uh, anyway, and oh yeah, it says, I might have got it wrong, but was not often challenged at the high school level though, and often overwhelmed his opponents with his pure size and strength. Okay, I got it now. We're good to go. But that's a great uh, great uh, uh, scouting report also. And uh, like I said, Caden Proctor will be on the field more than a lot of people think as a freshman, all right, uh, along the offensive line. I know people going to talk, well, you know, other fan bases, We'll talk about how bad our offensive line being the last two seasons. I don't give a damn what happened the last two seasons. I'm focused on 2023. And I think the second year on the Coach Wolford, our line will be much, much improved from the last two seasons. Hell, they improved, they improved a lot in Coach Wolford's first season. I mean, I'm a, like I said, 2021, we gave up over 40 sacks. That's including the playoff. Last year, we only gave up like 16, maybe 20 at the most. So, and I'm, I guarantee you, it's going to be better. Plus, we got a lot of incoming uh, 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 recruits or uh, uh, freshmen, big, all of them over 6'5". All of them like 330, 320, 340. A couple of them were 360. So, we getting back to have that massive, powerful offensive line like we used to have that could open up running lanes. You know, last two seasons, we've been having issues with opening up them running, running lanes. I don't think we're going to have that issue this year. I really don't. So, but anyway, those are the five guys, uh, incoming guys, that I think will have a big impact in the success of our Alabama Crimson Tide. Let me go back through it. Caleb Dow. Well, five-star safety, Caleb Downs, five-star running back, Justice Haynes, uh, 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 daggone uh, Malik Benson, transfer from Hutchinson College, wide receiver, Caden Proctor, well, five-star offensive tackle, Caden Proctor, and uh, transfer C.J. Dupree, okay? So, tight, tight end, C.J. Dupree. But those are the five guys who think I think will – Play a big part in the success of our Alabama Crimson Tide. This is their first year there, and guess what? You're going to see them on the field on a regular basis in 2023. So let me know what y'all think about these five guys and if y'all think that they, you know, will have a big impact in the success of our Alabama Crimson Tide. All right? So... That's all I got for now, and I'll talk to y'all later.